Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is a bird in the cage, or is it? As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is paper, scissors, string, glue, and a pen. So to start off, I have um, in the description um, a link to this printout. Uh, so you're able to print out uh, the ca bird cage and the bird, and then you're going to have an adult help you cut out the two circles. So um, just get a couple circles cut out here, uh, one with the bird and one with the cage. And I'll speed this up because you probably don't need to watch me uh, see how well my cutting skills are. So uh, when we're cutting this out, uh, we want to, uh, it doesn't have to be precise, but right around the outside of the lines, you're gonna have this cut out and then we're going to um, glue the back of each side of those. So once we get these completely cut out here, then we um, are going to flip them up. Now it's important which direction they go. So you do have to make sure you get the glue on. You want to make sure that the cage, uh, the bird is right side up. It's the easy way for me and the cage is upside down. So um, then you put your string right down in the middle. Bird's right side up. And then um, you'll have the cage uh, the other way. So go ahead and check to make sure the cage is upside down on the back. It's very important. And the bird is facing straight up. And now you grab your string and start spinning it around. And you'll notice it's when you go around, the bird looks like it's inside the cage. This bird in the cage is an optical illusion called a thaumatrope. It is the beginning of animation as we know it. And at the surface, it doesn't seem to be the same concept. However, while both basically make use of fast-changing frames and, or image to create a visual uh, illusion. A thaumatrope is caused by an image in light in a different location while the animation in a different image of light in the same location. This time I'm drawing my own. And so what I'm doing is I took a piece of cardstock, a four inch by two inch, and I folded it in half. And then I drew one image of a stick figure um, on the bottom part, which is now on the top. And then I'm drawing a second image of a jail cell on the bottom. And uh, my pen is not really working with me here, so I'm gonna come back with a little Sharpie and highlight that a little bit better. But um, this just shows that you can draw your own or you could do uh, in the, go in the description and grab the printout that I had for the bird in the cage. Uh, you're gonna take the string and you're gonna put it right in the middle of the bottom two inches. Uh, first you take your glue stick um, and go ahead and, and cover up both sides of the cardstock and then you're going to stick that uh, string in the middle of the bottom bottom half of it right there and then when you fold it over um, it should be right there where last time we cut out two circles and put them together and then we have our uh, image there so I'm going to come back and and highlight it here uh, with a sharpie and then once I get it um, completely ready, I'm going to switch over to a thicker Sharpie here. Um, and we'll get the cage a little bit thicker here. You could use different colors um, where I basically are just using black and white here. But you could use all kinds of different colors or come up with different images where I'm just using the bird in the cage and a man in a jail cell. Once you have this done then, um, you want to make sure that one image is facing the right direction. It doesn't really matter with the bars here. And then you give it a, oh, it does matter. I had it upside down. And then I spin it and you can see when it spins really quick, uh, the unhappy man is in jail. Go ahead and go into the description and print out the bird in the cage or come up with your own uh, design and leave in the comments below what you came up with as I only did the man with the jail cell and the bird with the cage. Uh, and also, if you used any different colors, I'd love to hear about that on which ones you came up with. Remember, the cage has to be upside down on the back and the bird right side up for that one to work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.